Hi guys, I'm Promise and today I'm here with a surprise look. Well, it's not a surprise anymore because I got too excited and I told most of you. But um, yeah, this is my Antoine Dotson look. If you guys don't know who Antoine Dotson is, he's also known as the Bed Intruder and uh, his autotune video got really big on YouTube. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out. It's really funny. Um, and Antoine Dotson is also probably the eighth wonder of the world right now because he is pretty cool. So um, yeah, I heard a lot of people wanted to be Antoine Dotson for Halloween and I thought that was the greatest idea ever. So I had to go ahead and do this makeup tutorial to help you guys out if you are thinking to be him. So keep watching this tutorial to see how to be Antoine Dotson. Take care. Hey guys, this is Antoine Dotson. <laughs> I'm just joking. But um, okay, first of all, to look like Antoine, you're going to need a hair, an afro hair. I got this from Target. It was like in the Michael Jackson costume set. And for some reason, I did not feel like it looked like Michael Jackson's hair. So I just had it aside in my closet. And finally, I could use this wig today for this look. So I'm pretty excited. And uh, for the shirt, you need like a beater, a black beater. And the last part is the red bandana that we're gonna put on our head. So if you have three of this and the makeup, you are gonna be Antoine Dotson for Halloween. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie the bandana just um, I folded it like this if you guys can see it like that and I'm just gonna take the side just tie it right behind here so first of all before applying makeup if you have dry skin go ahead and moisturize your skin so I'm gonna start off by using this cream stick foundation it's from Suwi Mori again and as you guys see it's a chocolate tone so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that you're going to blend this later as usual. So, under the eyes, on the nose bridge, on the neck, just every part that's going to be showing. Just get that. I look like I belong in an art show right now. So, after applying the cream foundation, I'm going to use a foundation brush and I'm just going to blend that really well and make it look really natural. Like it's my natural skin. So blend it really, really good. So now we're done blending the cream foundation. My next step is going to be this foundation. It's called Undercover High Definition Foundation from Costa Scents. And it's pretty chocolatey brown as well. So let's go ahead and apply that on top. So using the same foundation brush, I'm just going to apply that on top of our cream foundation. So this makes it look more natural. So that's why I'm going to apply this all over. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now let's move on to the third step. So now i got to set in my foundation. So I'll be using this powder bronzer from Bare Minerals. So using Ikkyu's Kabuki brush, I'm just going to dip the brush in the bronzer. And I'm just going to set in the liquid foundation I just applied. And try not to breathe in the powder while you're applying because it's not healthy. So. so I'm done setting in the liquid foundation. Now let's work with our eyebrows. So for the eyebrows, we're going to thicken our eyebrows to look like Antoine Dotson. Um, I'll be using Rimmel London's Dark Brown Liner to line and thicken my brows. So just, I think I'm going to thicken about half an inch. So just take it like that and follow your brow shape and just thicken. So the brows look pretty good now. Okay, so I'm just going to pull my bandana a little lower. And let's move on to contouring. So for contouring, I'm going to use this Muddy Brown Eyeshadow. So just pull it down the nose line. And make your eyes look really sunken. Like that. So since Mr. Dotson didn't get to sleep well that night because of the bed intruder, we're going to draw some bags right here on the eyes. So darken the eyes lightly with the same brown eyeshadow. 
So after contouring the dark circles, now I'm going to use a bigger brush and create the hollow, the sunken cheeks look. So here I got my blush brush and I'm going to blush that brown eyeshadow right on the cheekbones. Now let's do the same in this cheeks. Brush till it's really blended. Okay, so we've exaggerated, so we've really created that sunken cheeks like Antoine's. Um, let's move on to a different step. So now we'll be creating some facial hair all around this area. So for that, I'll be using this black eyeshadow. I'll apply the black eyeshadow just at the sides of your chin and take it up and just pat it right here so that kind of creates like the light facial hair let's do it in this side so now I'm going to use this Ulta liner, a liquid liner to make my nose holes look a little more rounded So just make it really round. So now we're done making our nose holes look rounder. Line your waterline with a white eyeliner to make your eyes look bigger. Especially I need to do this because my Asian eyes are so tiny. So just line it like that. Now using the same eyebrow pencil, let's go around the white liner to make it look a little natural like a lash line and on the top just I'm gonna add some more lashes since I barely have any lashes so this is gonna be like the lash effect now I'm gonna use this concealer to give the final touch now we're gonna highlight the main points so just press in your concealer right under the eyebrows but just at the corner like that and we gotta highlight this area right here so just apply that right here and we're gonna highlight this area right here just to give it that flared nose effect we're gonna highlight there and right on the forehead and the chin. Using my best tool, which is my fingers, I'm gonna just blend the edges like that. Okay, so between the nose, and let's go under this side and blend here, just till the eyebrows. So after I'm done blending in all the concealer all over my eyes, the chin, and everywhere, I'm gonna take the bronzer that we used to set in the liquid foundation and then just rebrush everything just on top just really lightly to make the contouring look really natural now lastly grab the same eyeliner we used for the eyebrow and just draw the hair right in front of your ears just darken it to here you guys can see So we're done with the makeup look, but lastly, don't forget like a paper to uh, a rolled up paper for your hand to look like Antoine Dotson. Um, in his interview, he said that it was actually his bus schedule. But yep, this is the last part of your costume. And lastly guys, when you go trick-or-treating and you knock on that door and the person says, who is it? Then you better say, hide your kids and hide your wife because Antoine Dotson is here. Alright, take care guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.